The number four reason you're going to run out of money in retirement. You didn't take inflation into consideration. So let's read this going back to Yahoo Finance. Uh, this guy right here says, you didn't take inflation into consideration. On average, in the U.S., we see that prices of goods and services rise by 3% a year, says Michael Hardy. This means that over a 20-year time period, your $100,000 of retirement savings will likely be worth 60% less in buying power. I hope you guys are seeing this fundamental mistake that he's making here. I hope you are. So because inflation rises by 3% a year, I got a thing in my eye. Um, if Over 20 years, 3 times 20 is 60%. That means your $100,000 will only be able to buy $40,000 worth of goods in 20 years hence. I hope that makes sense. All right. That, that's simply, let me just read what else is, he says. If you didn't factor inflation into your retirement calculations, you might have to save more. And this guy said, the same guy says, I find that most people fail to account for this change and it ends up costing them dearly years later. I, that, no, he doesn't know that. He doesn't find that most people fail to account and it ends up costing them dearly years later. Who are these people? You know, you talk to somebody who's 50, then 20 years from now, he's like, man, Michael, I didn't account for inflation. Oh, it's cost me dearly. No, no one says that. It's, it's just, if you read this whole article, this whole thing from start to point, uh, finish, you'll see all these people are just making stuff up. Uh, so, hey, let's go into this. I want to show you something. So, here I was born in 1970. So, a dollar today would cost me seven dollars, a dollar in 1970. If I could buy goods for a dollar in 1970, I would need $7.41 today, if that makes sense. Thus, my purchasing power has declined by 80, uh, 88%. I know that sounds bad. And was like, see, the dollar in your 51 years, Josh, what the dollar you had in 1970 is only worth 12 cents today, 88%. That's just stupid, because let's look at something here. We're going to look first of all, durable goods. Durable goods from 1970 are, has only gone up by 2% a year. That's it, two percent a year. So what cost me twenty bucks in nineteen seventy cost me? Uh, does it say on here uh, fifty seven dollars in two thousand twenty two? That's for durable goods. All right. So keep let's keep going. Cable and satellite television services uh, since nineteen eighty three has averaged uh, what uh, four point three nine percent a year. Oh my goodness, beat the rate of inflation. What are you getting for your dollars though now? You see what I'm saying? You're getting a hell of a lot more for your dollars in satellite and cable than you did in 1983. I mean, 1984 is when we first had cable. Uh, you just, you're getting 10 times more, man. It's just all, it's silly to think that these are two comparative things. So let's keep going. Services has gone up by 5% a year, so it's much more expensive now than it was. Uh, but what are you getting for your dental services? You know what the x-rays they do now? It's nuts what these guys could do today, what they couldn't do 50 years ago. You know, back then, they're still putting that freaking stuff in your mouth the, uh, that's probably giving us all dementia and Alzheimer's, all that crap they put in your mouth. But still, there's, there's a whole lot different. And yes, it has gone up, but what are you getting for the dollar? Let's keep going. It cost $20 in 1970, 1997 for a computer software. Now it cost, now it cost five bucks. Five bucks. What? And just, what's that? 25 years ago, it cost 20 and we're all using computers. It makes our life so much more efficient. That's why we can work from home. Let's keep vacations. In 1993, what cost twenty dollars now costs? Uh, I don't even know what that is. Where is it here? It cost uh, uh, it's twenty one percent lower. Does it give me a dollar? It doesn't. Anyway, whatever it is, it's uh, twenty one percent lower than what it was in 1993. Um, oh, now it costs fifteen dollars today. And I just want to share with you. When I was growing up and the Raiders were playing the Vikings in Super Bowl XI in 1976, 77, I can't remember. We didn't have a TV. And I remember I was able to call my grampy who lived in Oakland. And he lived in Los Altos. And I was in Maine. We called him Collect because it's so doggone expensive in order to freaking call. You see what I'm saying? So I just remember we borrowed a TV from neighbors. I watched it in my, in my room. It has a tiny little TV black and white you had to go up there and turn the dial and i remember when the raiders won it was like because you know, grandpa used to send me all kinds of raiders gear i still have a oakland raiders trash can a ken stabler dave casper uh, poster all kinds of stuff he loved he had season tickets anyway i, I remember calling him was collect because it cost so much you couldn't just pick up the phone and call you certainly didn't have a, a movie system on your phone here like we have now it's crazy man 
Okay, let's keep looking. So it's just the idea that the where the idea that the dollar has lost value, but what are you getting for that? What are you getting for it now? Right, so we'll do one other thing here because I want to show you something else here. We're gonna go to full list of CPI. I, I just find this interesting. We're gonna go look at appliances because this is huge too. Um, right there, appliances. From nine, I mean, look at that. From 1997 till today, appliances are have averaged a decline of 50 basis points, or one half of one percent a year. So it cost 20 bucks in 1997. Uh, now costs 17 in 2022. We haven't talked about computers. We haven't talked about televisions. We haven't talked about. This. So I know people say yes, but how about this? Well, check this. In 1997, which I got uh, 1978, which I got newspapers.com. A flight from Boston to Orlando, Walt Disney World. All right, this is this package includes Eastern Super Saver fare of $143, which is 40% off regular day coach fare. Uh, let's see. And so flight to South Florida from Boston is basically 300 bucks or so. I don't, that's a round trip. This vacation includes our low round trip Super Saver airfare of 155 bucks. That was in 1978. I was eight years old. Eight years old. All right. $155 from Boston to South Florida. I'm getting ready to fly to Boston here in a couple of weeks for it's going to be 300 bucks round trip. No stops either, by the way. 300 bucks. <laughs> Cars used to be so cheap back then. Here's a 1979 brand new Cherokee S wagon. It's a pretty tough looking vehicle. It's like an old Bronco. I love them. Uh, list was 9,600 bucks. Had AM FM stereo, power steering, power brakes, V8, tilt wheel. Roll the windows up like that. I don't even, it doesn't say air conditioning. <laughs> I mean, what do you, you got, now you got freaking everything you could possibly want in your car, backup uh, uh, mirrors, backup wind, you know, the uh, things in the back, backup uh, video. I mean, just all kind of communications through the roof, not AM, FM. It just doesn't say it has air conditioning. Let's keep looking. The uh, rural four bedroom Cape Cod in Old Town, Maine. Wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, fireplace, two-car garage on an acre and a quarter. Excellent condition for fifty thousand bucks. Fifty thousand uh, bucks, ten minutes from University of Maine of Orono. Now I was looking at Old Town, Maine. You can still get houses for two hundred thousand there. <laughs> hey, yes, keep looking. Uh, Forty-eight bucks a pop for one sixty-five thirteen. I think I'm one fifty-five thirteen on mine, so it's sixty bucks a pop for tires. This is a nineteen seventy-eight, my friends. 1978, 60, uh, you know, basically 60 bucks a pop for my tires. Oh, I'm sorry, 41 bucks a pop for my tires. But still, yeah, now they're what, I don't know, 100 bucks, something like that? Are the tires built worse or better? We'll let you decide that. But still, give me a break. It's not like things were freaking cheap back then. Five pounds of dog food, big red dog food, $15.15. .15. 50 pounds of nine bucks. I just got these guys some 50 pounds of dog food for 35 bucks. This is a 1978. I just got a 50 pound bag of dog food for 30 bucks at Costco. A thing where you get, get uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I think it's two things of uh, chicken, uh, some uh, so mashed potato side, and a soda for $3.99. I was like, man, you can get Arby's. I just saw an Arby's advertising last night for $5.99 uh, for wings, something like that. It's like, I know it's fast food. I mean, no one should be eating that crap, but it's still, it's like, give me a break, man. Yeah, the dollar is dropping in value, but the things you can purchase for that less value is significantly different. Even that house, man, even that house at 50,000 bucks, what kind of insulation did it have? Insulation has gone up remarkably. It didn't even have air conditioning, I guarantee you. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, there's so, it's a different economy now than it was. And to only say, well, the dollar is only going to be worth 60, 40% uh, of what it is today. It's not the same consumption, not the same goods you're buying for that less value dollar. It's just not. I would say the argument is relying too much on technology. That's the argument. Not saying inflation is going to eat you alive. You say, no, you're relying on too much technology improvements, i.e. battery storage. Everyone's like, well, the battery storage technology is coming. Dude, they've been saying that for 100 years. It's not coming. It's not. Uh, solar panels are going to be more efficient. No, they're not. They're just not. It's not. So don't rely so much on technology to keep going. Uh, but with that said, that is the risk as opposed to the dollar is losing value. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you.
Now, you should look back on your own. Go to newspapers.com, type in you know, a year of your remembrance, maybe 1962, and just look at the, the ads. It's fun. You say, oh, man, it was a good time. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.